Welcome to A Course in Business Miracles. This is Heather Dominic, creator of businessmiracles.com and founder and leader of the highly sensitive entrepreneur movement. Join me today for some genuine practical assistance and a business altering and life changing experience. A business miracle. This is A Course in Business Miracles, episode number 50 advanced energy management for HSEs. In this episode, you'll hear that when you learn how to take energy management one step further as an act of devotion to your business, then the experience of business miracles becomes a natural part of your daily life. Today's training is all about advanced energy management as a core practice. So at this point in our journey, our business miracles journey together, we know very clearly about the importance of ongoing regular energy management. We've talked multiple times in various ways about the importance of scripting, of auto-writing, of putting together an order form to the universe, engaging in a belief transformation tool. We've talked in numerous ways, various times, about how this is absolutely a crucial aspect of business building, business growth, and overall business success for a highly sensitive entrepreneur. So the question for today's training is, why is it that even with these various numerous aspects of communicating the importance of energy management as a highly sensitive entrepreneur, do we still not do it consistently? Why not? What is that about? This is a place for you to do just a really honest check-in between you and you. And are you consistent with your energy management? Or do you turn to energy management primarily only in crisis, business or otherwise? Or do you maybe even forget about energy management when in crisis and then come to it when you're like knee deep in crisis? I know that I remember hearing Marianne Williamson share years ago that she came to understand the value of getting down on her knees in every crisis situation. And then she understood the value of just staying on her knees all the time. So advanced energy management is about being on our knees all the time. All the time. According to A Course in Miracles, Principle number five, miracle principle number five, miracles are habits and should be involuntary. Let's take a moment and write that down. Miracles are habits and should be involuntary, which is followed by principle number six, miracles are natural. When they do not occur, something has gone wrong. And let's write that down. Again, miracles are natural. When they do not occur, something has gone wrong. So are you living your life and operating your business from 
not only the belief, but the deep knowing that miracles are habits, they're involuntary, they're natural, and only when they're not occurring has something gone wrong. Or are you living your life and operating your business from the perspective that everything always goes wrong and I should be gosh darn lucky if I could just experience a smidgen of a miracle somewhere. And again, this is a moment to be really honest with yourself. And to then ask the question, how serious are you about really, truly creating a business as a highly sensitive entrepreneur? Are you serious about the E in the HSE? There is the law of cause and effect. And so if you're up against any type of fear, And I love this. I'm going to paraphrase from the course, but basically I think it's in Chapter 29. See, maybe Chapter 30. It doesn't matter. (laughs) But the course has a teaching about dreams and particularly around fear. And it says something along the lines that if you are experiencing fear, And the way that you know that you're experiencing fear is basically if you're not fully content and you're not in a full knowing that you are supported and provided for by a higher source. So if you're not experiencing contentment and you're not experiencing a full knowing of being held and provided for by a higher source and you are engaged in fear. And I know when I first read that, I was like, oh, my gosh, all these times when I thought, I'm not afraid in this moment. But according to this definition, I sort of am. And believe me, I can't say for sure that I am not in fear 100% of the time. No, I'm not there yet, but I am much further along than I used to be. So if you are having the experience or when you're having the experience of fear and you are going it alone and you're not turning to community and you're not engaging in energy management, then what are we causing? What's our cause? What are we investing in? And one of the things that I say all the time, and I I take this in for myself, please know that if we want to know what we're investing in, take a look around. Look at your environment. Look at your day-to-day experience. And sadly, so many HSEs that I meet and engage with through the community are not willing to be in the core practice of transforming the fear. But instead, allow fear to run not only your business, but your life unwilling to manage the fear in order to take the actions to receive the clients to then therefore receive income and more importantly receive the opportunity to be of service through your purpose. The shared purpose that we all hold here in the Business Miracles community, the shared purpose of being a royal advisor in whatever way that is for you as coach, as healing practitioner, as creative. If you are making decisions from fear, from limitation, and from lack, 
then we are missing a major piece when it comes to both energy management and overall what it means to be in business from a space of miracles. Now, let's be clear with each other. The path of an HSE is not an easy path. And I know there's tons of coaches and mentors out there touting the message of how marketing and selling can be easy. And one, that hasn't been my experience from what I've seen from over a decade of doing this work. It's not what I see for the other 80%, and it for sure isn't what I see for those of us in the 20% of highly sensitives. It's a rocky road, this path of being self-employed. And what I find is that so many are so willing to give up so easily. Is that you? And when I ask that question, I often get the answer, but Heather, I've been doing this for six full months. I've been doing this for a year. I've been at this for two or three. And my response, that's a drop in the bucket. You went to school for 12 plus and you are looking to take your highly sensitive abilities and transform them into a profitable business by six months to two to three years, and if not, you're giving up? What? What? It's a spiral. It's an evolution. It's not a straight line. There is no graduation. It is an ongoing transformational core practice. And the question then is, what are you doing to honor that consistently. What are you doing to consistently engage in the retraining of your mind to be in a space of miracles? of shifting perception, of being willing to do it differently, to offer forgiveness, to ask for forgiveness. Principle 15 in A Course in Miracles says, each day should be devoted to miracles. Write that down. Each day should be devoted to miracles and underline the word devoted. So sure, yes, it is absolutely so powerful to take five or more minutes at the beginning of each day and to do our OFTU or our BTT or scripting or auto writing or any other tangible form of energy management. Absolutely. That's so much more and so much further along than any of us were on our own before we were part of this community. But is that devotion? I know for myself, I have to remind myself And oftentimes, I forget and I lose track. Some things that I do to help remind myself are to set an alarm as I go throughout my business day. So the alarm will go off and it will remind me to stop and to breathe. And sometimes, oftentimes, I step away from my computer, out of my office, out of my workspace, go to a place, another place in my apartment and Believe me, many of you don't live in New York City, so you've got a whole bunch more space than I do. I go to another space and I literally get down on my knees and I take a moment and I close my eyes and I say, just show me what I'm missing. Show me 
to where I meant to go next. Show me where to go, what to do, what to say, and to whom. So says the Course. Give me the thoughts to think, the words to speak, and the actions to take. Heather Dominic's Business Miracles Adaptation. Or I'll just lie down on my back and I'll breathe. And I'll ask, angels watch over me. Guide me, direct me, show me the way. What do you want to put in place for yourself to activate devotion? It is very easy to lose our way. Very easy to be blinded by our HSE shadows. Literally, to feel as if we are in the darkness when we find ourselves engaging in over-responsibility, over-caretaking, over-protection, like extending and throwing our energy out there, out there, out there, rather than restoring it inward, inward, inward. We distract ourselves with all kinds of things by, again, taking care of others, being over-responsible for others, engaging in acts of over-protection, managing our food, managing our exercise, managing our environment, doing whatever we can to keep ourselves from even the possibility of needing to experience overwhelm. And then what do we get? Well, again, the law of cause and effect. We get the results of engaging with our shadow. Sure, yeah, we might be, you know, we might be protected. Uh Uh-huh, yeah, mm, yep. We might be in our safe little HSE cocoon. Mm Mm-hmm. But deep down inside, there's a pit in your stomach, in your gut, that says, I'm not really doing what I'm here to do. I'm not really showing up fully. Is this how I want to go out? Is this the barely visible flame that I want my life to be? Now, the Course says also, Principle 22, that miracles are associated with fear only because of the belief that darkness can hide. Again, miracles are associated with fear only because of the belief that darkness can hide. Now, how appropriate is this for those of us who are highly sensitive entrepreneurs? Because when we are engaged with our shadow side, When we are engaged with our highly sensitive shadows, we have the experience of being in the darkness. And we believe that that's the truth. But back to what I said earlier from the Course, which is that if we're not experiencing contentment and a full knowing that we're being cared for and provided for, then we are experiencing fear. And the next step to that is the Course would say, and that is nothing but a dream That is an illusion, a dream that you continue to invest in dreaming. So sure, we have our HSE shadows. But rather than slipping into coping mechanisms around our shadows, pushing or hiding or going back and forth between the two, coming from lack, coming from limitation, engaging in fear as a decision maker, instead of that, we manage our energy. We engage in energy management consistently and we take it to another level of devotion. Thank you for listening and I hope you enjoyed this episode of A Course in Business Miracles. If you're ready to learn how to use your highly sensitive abilities to support you in being purposeful, profitable, and empowered rather than scattered, poor, and undervalued, 
take my free self quiz to find out if you are indeed a highly sensitive entrepreneur. And if you are, along with your quiz results, you'll receive my free HSE success guide, which will teach you how to have your highly sensitive abilities working for you to create the results you desire in your business. Take the quiz and receive your free success guide now at www.hsequiz.com.